Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Tell God about your sins. When God has forgiven someone's sin, they are truly happy. They may have turned against God, but when God forgives them, they are happy. They may have done something bad, but when the Lord says not guilty, He has truly blessed them. They are happy because they no longer try to hide their sins. When I said nothing to God about my sin, my whole body become, became weak. I cried all the time because of the pain. In the day and in the night, you punished me with pain. It seems like too hot sun was taking away my strength. Then I told you about my sins. I did not try to hide the bad things that I had done. I said I will tell the Lord about the things that I have done against Him. When I did that, you forgave me my sins. Because of that, all your own people should pray to you. They should do it while they still have the chance. Then when danger comes to them like a river of deep water, they will still be safe. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. Yes, Lord, you are a place where I can hide. You will keep me safe from trouble. I will hear happy songs all around me because you save your people from danger. 
I will teach you the right way to live. I will be your guide and I will take care of you. Do not be like a silly horse or a mule. You have to use a rope to tell them which way to go. Without that, they will not obey you. Wicked people will receive a lot of trouble and pain, but if someone trusts in the Lord, they will know that God always loves them. So all you people who belong to the Lord, praise Him and be happy. All of you who are good, honest people should loud, be, uh, uh, shout loud because you are so happy. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible, Matthew 18, part 21 to 35. Jesus tells the people about the servant who did not forgive. Then Peter came to talk to Jesus. He asked, Lord, if my Christian friend does wrong things against me many times, how many times should I forgive him? Must I forgive him as many as seven times for the wrong things that he has done against me? Jesus replied, I do not say only seven times. I say you should, I say you, you, you should forgive him 77 times. Jesus went on to say, I will tell you a story to show what the kingdom of heaven is like. A king wanted to check how much money his servants should give to him because of their debts. So the king began to check. His men led a servant to him who had a big debt. He must pay back 10,000 gold coins to the king. The servant could not pay his big debt to the king. So the king said to his men, sell the servant and his wife and his children and all he, his things. Then I will keep the money to pay his debt. Then the servant went down on his knees in front of the king. He said to the king, please, please give me some more time, then I will pay you everything. The king felt sorry for his servant. He forgave him for all the debt and uh, let him go free. But then that same servant went away and he met another servant of the king. This other servant had to pay back a debt of 100 cheap coins to the first servant. The first servant took hold of the neck of the other servant to hurt him. He said, Give me the money that is mine. The other servant went down on his knees in front of the ser first servant. He said, please, please give me some more time. Then I will give you the money. But the first servant would not agree. He put the other servant in prison until he could pay his debt to him. The other servants of the king saw what had happened. They were very upset about it, so they went to see the king. They told him about everything that had happened. When the king heard this, he told the first servant to come to him. You are a very bad person, the king said to the servant. I forgive you the whole of your big debt to me. I did this because of, uh, because you asked me very strongly. I was kind to you. You should have been kind to that other servant in the same way. The king was very angry with the first servant. He told his men to put him in prison. They punished the servant there very much until he could pay all his debt to the king. Then Jesus finished the story and he said, You must forgive your friends completely. If you do not agree to forgive them, then my Father in heaven will do like that king did. He will not forgive you. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. 
Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Epistle, Roman 9, part 15 to 24. Think about this. God said to Moses, I will be kind to whoever I choose to be kind to. I will feel sorry for whoever I choose to feel sorry for. So then, it is God who decides these things. It is not because of what people want. It is not because of what people do. It is because God chooses to be kind. The Bible tells us what God said to Pharaoh, this is why I uh, caused you to be king of Egypt. My purpose was to show how powerful I am. As a result, people everywhere would know that I am great. So we see this. God is kind to some people and he forgives them. But he causes some people like Pharaoh to turn against him. He chooses what he will do with uh, each person. God himself decides when he will be angry or kind. One of you may say to me, God always does what he wants to do. Nobody can change what God makes them do. So God should not say that people have done wrong uh, things but you are only human you have no authority to speak against god like that god has made you a pot cannot speak against the person who made it it cannot ask him why did you make me like this somebody who makes pots can change choose to make any kind of pot he can use the same piece of clay to make you different pots. One of the pots may be for special parties. The another part is for dirty things. What does the teach? What does that teach us about God? Some people are like pots that are ready for God to destroy. God is angry with people like that. He is ready to show his power against them, but he has chosen to wait patiently. He keeps his anger for later. Other people are like valuable parts that God has chosen to make. God wants to be kind to people like that. He wants to use them to show people how great he is. He has prepared them to be with him for a special party in heaven. We are those people. God has chosen us to be his people. It is not only Jewish that, has, that he has chosen. He has also chosen Gentiles. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gospel, John 14, part 15 to 30. Jesus promises to send God's Spirit. Jesus went on to say, If you love me, do what I have told you to do. I will ask the Father to help you with this. He will send another helper to be with you. That helper will stay with you always. He is God's spirit and he always and he shows you what is true. The people who belong to this world cannot receive him. That is because they cannot see him. They cannot know who he is but you know him because he stays with you and he will be in you 
I will not let you remain alone like children without parents. I will come to you. Soon, the people who belong to this world will not see me any longer, but you will see me because I continue to live. You also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father. You will know that you are in me and I am in you. Those people who obey my message are the ones who really love me. They accept my words and do what I say. My Father will love everyone who loves me. I also will love them and I will show myself to them. Then Judas said, Lord, why will you show yourself only to us? Why will you not show yourself also to the people who belong to this world? Jesus replied, Everyone who loves me will obey my message. My Father will love them. And my Father and I will come to them and we will make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my message. These words that you hear are not my own. No, they come from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Father will send the Holy Spirit to be with you. He will be your helper. He will come in my name and he will teach you all things. He will help you to remember everything that I have told you. I will go away, but I will give you a gift of peace. It is mine to give and yours to keep. It is not like a gift that this world gives. Do not let yourselves be sad. Do not be afraid. You heard me say to you, I will go away, but I will return to you. If you loved me, you would be happy because of that. You would be happy because I will go to the Father, and he is greater than I am. I have told you this now, before it happens, before it happens. So then, when it does happen, you will believe. I will not take talk with you much more, because the ruler of this world will come soon. He has no power over me, but the people who belong to this world must I earn about, about me. They must know that I love the Father. I do everything that he tells me to do. I must show that, uh, that to them. No, now get up. We must go from here. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, you righteous people sing to praise the Lord and be happy. It's right for good, honest people to do that. Pick up your harp and praise the Lord. Make music for him with a lyre that has two, ten uh, strings. Sing to him a new song. Make beautiful music as you sing aloud to praise him. Yes, the Lord's message is true. We can always trust him to do what is right. He loves everything that is right and fair. The world is full of his faithful love. The word, the word of the Lord made the heavens when he spoke all the stars in the sky appeared. Preaching seven powerful prayers God will always answer. Have you prayed and God doesn't answer? Do you feel that you are, you are unloved or unheard? Then pray these seven prayers. One, reveal yourself to me. 
Lord, I seek you, but I cannot find you. Please open my heart and my eyes so I can see you in my world of chaos. I long to feel your presence and hear your voice. Teach me how to seek you. Reveal yourself to me. I desperately need you. Amen. Number two. How do I glorify you? Father, I know that it is a desire of yours that I glorify you. You show me great opportunity to do that for you. I do not to be blind to the door you open or the way you present for me to use the gifts you have so graciously given me to accomplish that. Amen. Number three, forgive my sins. Father, I am a sinner. I am not, I am not perfect. Thank you for giving your life for me so that I can be forgiven. I will stumble and I may fall. Please forgive me so I can be redeemed. Forgive me for giving into the evil schemes of opposites. Amen. Number four, my heart and yours. Father, I pray to be more like you and less like me. It is so hard in social media world. I fall into its evil clashes of judgment and negative feelings. Please cleanse me of that and fill that void with only the love you can provide. Amen. Number five, find peace. Lord, I am at the end of my roof. I feel torn down and un unable to get up. Send me your peace. Show me the way to that place. Show me the way to that place. My daily struggles are too much to bear. Your peace is what I need. Amen. Number six, clarity. Father, I feel that I am fighting evil in my everyday life. I feel I am being pulled in the wrong direction. Please guide me, guide me, Father. Give me your clarity to know the right path. Let your light always guide my way. Amen. Number seven. Grant me wisdom. Lord, I ask for wisdom in my time of this despair. I have so much anxiety and fear. Please help me to give it to you and know that you will answer this prayer. Help me be obedient and trust in you. Amen. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. He put the water of the sea together in a heap. He made the deep seas stay in their right places. Everyone who lives on the earth should respect the Lord. They should bend down to worship Him. The Lord spoke and the world began. He spoke His command and everything became fixed in its place. Nations decide what they want to do, but the Lord stops them. Whatever those people decide, He causes it to become useless. But whatever the Lord decides to do will always happen. His thoughts will not change from one century to the next. The Lord has truly blessed the nation that has Him as their God. He has chosen them to belong to Him as His own special people. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries, give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people, please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. 
It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through Him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving Him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of christ your son our lord amen christ is risen christ will come again amen accept through him our great high lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer 
our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. From the place where he lives, he watches everyone that lives on the earth. He made each person and all their thoughts. He knows everything that all they, that they do. A great army will not save a king. A soldier does not stay alive because he is strong. In war, even a strong horse is a false hope. You cannot trust it to save you. Remember, the Lord takes care of people who respect him. Those people trust him for his faithful love. They trust him to keep them safe from death and to keep them alive during a time of famine. Yes, we will trust the Lord to come and help us. He is our helper who keeps us safe like a soldier's shield. We are happy because he loves us. We trust in his holy name. Lord, help us to know your faithful love because we are trusting in you. Hallelujah. Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, 
and my future of God's protection. A. 